right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative, and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoons, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. He protects his people. He keeps his promises. So always keep him first. Always thank him. Always worship him and look to him and trust in him forever. Amen. Most definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches, the ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the gathering, the fellowships and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, current martyrs and future martyrs, the brave, courageous, bold, isolated believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are being steadfast and firm for his namesake. Stay strong and encouraged out there. Amen. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new creatures of Christ out there, all the brand new converts. God bless all you new people in the faith. Anyone who just became a believer, God bless you. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, congratulations, God bless you as well. Shalom, family, greetings, everyone. Welcome, everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let's get together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, crowd to him, dance, play an instrument, sing, express yourself, do what you got to do for the most high. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. So let us be watchful, prayed up, alert, sober, vigilant. Let us keep being washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamps and oils. And let us constantly stand our purpose and our calling for the Most High. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams, visions, and encounters, and various ways of communication. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Any assignments or tasks the Father gave you, let's be responsible and do our due diligence. Okay, let's be more better and more productive in the kingdom. Amen. Let us keep the commandments, keep the word of God, keep the testimony of Jesus, keep everything all together. Amen. So be firm in the faith forever. All right. Stay strong and press forward, people. Amen. Now, today's message, what I love to do is go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scriptures, and go through the commentary. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer, we will close out with a priestly blessing, and we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. 
Hallelujah. So take it one day at a time, people. Stay encouraged. Keep your head up, all right? Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world are going through it, too, so you're not alone in this. Amen. Stay strong, people. Today's Bible reading is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 40, verses 1 through 6. Recommended reading, the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 31, verses 20 through 21. The book of Luke, chapter 15, verses 11 through 20. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 13. And also the book of Second John, chapter 6. Well, actually, chapter, the book of Second John, verse 6. All right. The title of this commentary is, Don't Get Burned. When children are very young, parents spend hours teaching them about danger and safety. For example, when we see a young child reaching for the hot, reaching for the top of a hot stove, most of us use simple words to explain the concept of hot and then say no. Few of us would let a toddler learn about a hot stove by allowing him to actually touch the searing surface. Jeremiah's prophecy, however, used both methods, verbal warnings combined with negative consequences. God always instructs his people first with words. Then if they don't listen, he lets them touch the hot stove and get burned. Jeremiah hoped that the people of Judah would listen. Instead, they touched the stove of rebellion, refusing to listen to Jeremiah's words and the Babylonians mastered them. Perhaps you've been burned. It happens. We touch the stove of unfaithfulness and our spouse leaves. We touch the stove of materialism, acquire too much debt, and find that creditors become our masters. We touch the stove of contentiousness and lose a friend in the process. We touch the stove of pride and hurts go unresolved. There's no question that life has its hot spots. Sadly, then confronted. Sadly, when confronted with risky situations, many of us are like the people of Judah in the story. We're slow to listen by faith and respond with obedience. And we stubbornly plow, plow ahead of our ahead with our own agenda and mind until the heat rises and we find ourselves in trouble. God wants only the best for his children. But the reality of this life is that we're faced with choices every day that determine the circumstances in which we find ourselves. If we take the time to prayerfully Consider the decisions we face, we have a better chance of making the right choices for ourselves and our families. But if we ignore his warnings and deliberately reject his guidance, we must bear the consequence of our decisions. The choice is ours. Let God guide you in all things. Allow him to lead you through his words and through the advice of others whom you trust so that you clearly know in which direction he's leading. Then obey him and go. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Do you think listening and obeying goes hand in hand? Why or why not? Can you think of times when you have failed to listen and God has allowed you to touch the stove? What are some practical ways you can make sure you're listening for God's guidance? Amen, people. Let us keep it moving forward. Let's make better choices. Let's keep God first in all areas of our lives, all right? So let's be better listeners and more obedient for the rest of our lives, okay? The Most High loves us, but we got to be better and more responsible and more disciplined, all right? So that is the commentary, okay? Let's bounce back, people, all right? Now, what I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins, amen? Hallelujah. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel, God of Jeshurun, God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the most high. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us, y'all. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Praise the most high, the almighty, true, living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the armor of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai. 
Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is a king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my redeemer, my salvation, my strength, my song, my provider, our helper, praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Ahai Yeshai, Yeshua Hamashiach, Barakafah Shalom Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha Yehusha, Yehosha Ahai Yeshai, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of the heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician can heal all things. He is the carpenter can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days to rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust in him. Know what he could do for you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. Ask the father what you need in his son's name and it shall be given to you. Faith. Your faith is what pleases him. Your faith is how you overcome the world. The just shall live by faith. The, the, the just shall walk by faith and not by sight. All right, faith is how we overcome everything in this world in these last days. Amen. Praise the Most High forever. We know that the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. Most definitely, we are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. All right, so He got us. People, be firm and patient and strong. His time is perfect time and due time. And Amen. Praise Him forever, y'all. Keep Him first. Look to Him. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of Lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation. The rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone to build is rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word made flesh, the living word. The true word of Elohim always forever. His word is purified silver, just as David said in the Psalms. Every word of God is true, pure, flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his words are double edged, so as the book of Hebrews says, Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. He is the everlasting king, the sinless high priest, the tender plant, the way everlasting. Amen. So always stick to him forever, people. Remain faithful in these times that we're in, all right? Prayers up for all the poor people. Prayers up for all the widows. Prayers up for all the orphans, all the fatherless out there. Prayers up for the elders, the babies, the children, the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for all the strangers, the sojourners, the refugees. Prayers up for everybody going through obstacles and persecutions and battles. Prayers up for all peoples, all walks of life, all social classes. Prayers up for everybody all over the world. Amen. Stay strong out there, okay? So I love to do as I close out is give y'all a prayer and a priestly blessing on the way out, all right? So here we go. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.